Hi everybody, it's your old buddy Beach from Kaitanica here. Uh, I've been setting up these sewing machines, so it occurred to me that it may interest some, and perhaps not others, but uh, it might be interesting to look at what's all entailed in a modern sewing machine. These are modern sewing machines, you see. We got them. Uh, they are a newer model than I thought they were, so that means that they are really new. So let's check out what they got under the hood. Let's look under the hood. So, look at that, brand new, super clean, no lint, no busted little pieces of bullshit under there. Everything's nice and clean. We like to keep it that way. But the dust, you gotta keep after the dust. So there's gonna be some cleaning on down the road. But this one has a single oil tank. Looks like the old one, I think the old one had two. So this is handy. Just fill it in here, it's all contained. Used to be that down here, oil pan. This thing would have a pool of oil in it and a, a pump that would pump it out, circulate throughout the machine and then back down into the pan. Now it's all, they're all contained. They're all like that now. So everything's contained. Way less oil and crap everywhere. Makes it a lot nicer and neater. Oil is often a problem. Fabric doesn't like to get oil on it and I don't like to get oil off of fabric. So what we got here is a needle feed sewing machine. Single needle. It's what we do most of the work around here with. And like everything in this world, it comes with a computer. So you can see you got this little control panel up here that sets your, uh, it's got a memory in it so you can set it to do a certain number of stitches and then stop. It's got a back tack for when you start and stop the, the stitch. Uh, that way it sets the stitch so it doesn't come loose at the ends. So that's an automatic thing that's nice not to have to do manually. It's got a, and then you kick back on the pedal, that raises the foot. And you go, so you don't have to do that by hand by raising this thing, which kills a lot of time. This thing here, that button is reverse. So rather than having to reach over all the way over to here, your hands are working here, you've got your reverse, nice and easy. So this is a drop feed, no it's not a drop feed, it's a needle feed machine, which means, you see these things down here, they are the feed dogs. So that is what they come up and go back and they pull the fabric in. And that's how that works. Now in a needle feed machine, the needle comes down and then it also goes, it goes back with, the, with the, the feed dog. So as the fabric's coming in, the needle's moving with it, forward and backwards. And that makes it a little easier on, <clears throat> uh, for, for doing heavier fabrics and such. So that's nice. A drop feed machine, the needle just goes straight up and down and the feed dog itself is the only thing that moves the fabric. So let's see, what else? Down here we got the control panel. That's not the control panel, it's the control box. Full of electronics. You don't want to go in there. <clears throat> uh, the motors are now inside the machine. And all the older machines had big, uh, you know, electric motors running on the outside, running the machine with a belt, but uh, that stuff's all been reduced in size and now sits inside the head of the machine. Other than that, it's not super exciting. It's what you do with it that is. So stay tuned and we'll be making some exciting things. All right, so you sew it. Lift it up your foot, put down on the work, and then you sew. See that? It just went backwards and then went forward again. And when you stop, Boom! You hear all that clicking under there. What that is, is it's the end of the stitch going back on itself to, to kind of lock it in. And then the other click is the automatic trimmer, which cuts the thread, which is really nice because it takes forever to trim every seam at the beginning and end by hand with a little tiny pair of thing, what was it, scissors? Yeah, scissors, scissors like that. So. Sets the stitch, boom, you go along. Bam, done, pretty easy. So, got different colors here so I can see how my stitch is doing. It looks okay, this fabric's really thin, but that's a better way to tell your attention. So anyhow, that is basically your, that's your basic uh, needle feed sewing machine. Thanks for watching. And thanks for all the business you guys have been sending our way. Really appreciate it. And hang in there. It's going to be worth it.
Because we're all going to get along a lot better after all this shit. Stay well.